Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let me turn this down. Today is Monday, July the 6th, 2020. Uh, it's early. It's 8.41 a.m. I'm going to take care of a little bit of business while it's not so hot. Because when that temperature rises up, it feel like you're going to bake in your car. You know, like a cookie and rise. So uh, I'm going to be um, doing this thing early so I can get on back home. And not only that, it's just not safe out here. It's sad to say, but these are the days that we're living in. And it's not safe. And it's time that we really take life seriously. And when I say that, I mean we need to take life seriously with the with the Lord, our Lord and Savior. So as you guys can probably see in the beginning of the video, I've shown you guys my, um, my, what do you call it? My PPE, okay? And I bought this thing right here and I left it out in the sun and it melted. But guess what? <laughs> your girl, hold on, let me show y'all something. Look, it works still. It works. It protects me, but my mom's Said we're gonna go get another one. That look, that looks pretty bad. Don't it look pretty bad? Look like somebody hit me in my face. But um, I like the way it curved up though in the heat. Maybe the heat will get this part to come back out because I like this here. This actually hugs my face, my face. But underneath it, I'll still wear a mask. <clears throat> and I keep in my car now. I keep gloves in my car. And I'm gonna tell you, I understand what people say about the gloves, but let me tell you how I feel about it. I know someone personally um well i don't know personally my kids do but they have the you know have coronavirus and they were out yesterday at the store and um he had actually had walked to the walk well they were at the store but when we got there it looked like he was coming from the door of the store now mind you i don't know about where you live but in the state of texas it is a law if you do not go into any public building or public place without a mask. You have to wear a mask. Now, even if you know, like even even more so, when you know that you have this COVID-19, if you don't care about yourself, at least care about other people because you have children that touches these doors. You have uh, children who touch, do touch doors. Add those people that come behind you that have touched these doors and just say just say they forget to wash their hands and touch their face well guess what that disease that means it just got transmitted again and it just keeps on going and keeps on going so you know what be mindful I mean you know I know some people in the world don't care hey I get it I care though and I, I'm gonna live because I cover myself with prayer and because of all this it's not even because of this that I'm safe it's because I have on my armor, the full armor of God, which I would tell all of y'all to read Ephesians chapter 6 and dress up in your armor of God, those that are children of God. And if you are not a child of God, you know, you would want to become a child of God because that is our, that is our defense. You know, that is our defense. Um, God gives us, we have so many tools that God gives us. We are loaded with tools. We are loaded with artillery from God. When I tell you we are loaded, matter of fact, I'm going to put up some pictures. I'm going to show you. This is one of the artilleries, the whole armor, just like this, but in the spiritual realm. Then you got the Bible, OMG. You got the Bible that is the whole sword. The word of God is like a two-edged sword. It cuts going in and it cuts going out. You see that sword right there? Yeah, that's nothing compared to the word of God. That's just an illustration. And then we got, uh, oh my God. If you go to Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18, as a child of God, we have these rights to bind up things on the earth. We have, God says in the Bible, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So we got a backup, you know, we got, we got backup. God got us with some backup here. We have artillery, amen. We have artillery. And so, uh, as a child of God, this this is just for children of God. This, And I ain't trying to be mean, but I'm just being right and telling you the truth. It's the word of God. These things are made available for God's children. And let me tell you something. The devil knows who God's children are, and I'll tell you how. Because the Bible says in the beginning that we were created in the image of God. That means, hey, I look like my father. You know, uh, when people see you, they are supposed to see the Christ in you. And I'm not saying that all Christians walk um, blamelessly because we don't. But we have a we have a um, we have a savior named Jesus Christ 
who shed his precious blood on the cross for my sins, for your sins if you are saved, so that we can be forgiven. Not saying to take advantage of it. I'm just saying God knows that we are liable for making mistakes. That's why he sent his son so that we could be forgiven for our sins. And oh my, did I tell y'all that when you repent to God that he has a C. There's a C. But only thing in this C are the sins that we have repented of. And, and, and did I tell you that God doesn't remember your sin anymore? That when you repent, genuinely repent to God, he don't remember it no more. So I'm not saying to go out there and, oh, just sin and sin. Because let me tell you something. The Bible also says that we are held accountable for what we do in the body and outside the body. On judgment day, we must give an account to God. He's going to judge us according to our works. You know, so, whew, thank you, Lord. I thank God for cleansing me. I thank him for working on me. I thank him. I thank him. I thank him because I in my flesh was no good. No good. But um, thank God that he is so merciful and so kind. And he's so loving. Even if you choose not to become a believer of Christ. Can I tell you something? That even though you don't want to serve him, you don't want to become a child of God, the Bible says that nothing can separate his love from us. Now, hell can't separate his love because God loves us all. He loves us all. Now, you know he really loved us, though, when he gave his one and only begotten son out of John 3, 16. Now, that's love. That's, that's love. Amen? And so, I, I come on here, I didn't even come to say all this, but I thank God that he reminds me of his goodness in my own life. I have children, I have grandchildren, I have my mom. And then um, losing a relative to COVID-19, thank God she was saved. She's, she's with Jesus. She's sleeping, but she's where Jesus. The Bible says to be separated from the body. When you die, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's the word of God. So I know that my cousin is present with the Lord and I give God the glory for that. Thank you, Jesus. And so I have peace. I have peace. And this, guess what? The world didn't even give me this peace. The world can't give me the peace. And joy, the world can't give me the joy. The, God, the Lord God says that he gives us unspeakable joy. And let me tell you something. If you're praying for something, I learned this too. And it's just been in my spirit and the Lord has been reminding me of this. Um, if you're praying to God for stuff, for things, for people, for your own personal life, the Bible says that God gives, in James 1 and 17, that God gives, uh, the gifts that God gives, ah, get it right, God gives us good, good and perfect gifts that comes from the Father of lights. James 1 and 17. Hold on to that if you're a child of God. Like myself, if you're expecting or you're, de you're desiring a husband, I want what God has, that great and perfect gift. My husband will be a great and perfect gift for me because I don't want it no other kind of way. That's my husband that I'm claiming. I don't have a husband now, but I'm speaking and asking God to give me that great and perfect gift and a husband for me. And then as well for myself to him. You know, so like when you're praying, just remember, you may not get that what you want, but because God knows what you need, He'll give you that great and perfect gift it's the God we serve. So I'm telling y'all, there are great benefits. And I'm not just a believer because of the benefits of God, but I'm a believer because I love him. And he called me out of a dark place. He called me out of my mess. You know, he saved me. He called and he chose me. So guess what? He anointed me. He anointed me. Do you know God anointed me? me to preach the good news he anointed you we are all called ministers of the gospel so that means we ought to be ministering even in your own household i was reminded that ministry starts in your home first amen i need a new cup a big one the paint coming off of this one so i'll just take that to my to my to my father in heaven and believe it or not he will get he will he, that's he, he'll he's he gonna bless me with a new cup watch watch what i tell you Watch what I tell you guys. Watch this. Just stay. Remember I said that July the 6th, 2020. It's not about things, but it's about faith. Walking in faith. The Bible says you have to have faith the size of a mustard seed. A mustard seed. It is the smallest seed. But then it comes out to be like the biggest plant. That's God, guys. That is God. All right. I got to go. They're calling me. Oh, I'm going to get...
all right guys so i'm back so anyway like i was saying it was just some things that we need to just take into consideration and the main topic of this is jesus is over the coronavirus he's over he's he in control you know but we can't give control to anything that comes from the devil sickness is a is a spirit that does not come from god you know it doesn't come from god read isaiah 53 and 5 and then come back and talk to me about it because i want to hear what you think that's right there confirmation for those in the body of christ we are we need to claim our healing even though we feel different sometimes in our body, claim your healing. All right, guys. Well, I love you. I thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I pray that this blessed you. I pray that this opened up somebody's eyes so that they can know that that, that God loves you. And uh, he wants the best for you, especially his children. Well, his children. He wants the best for the world, but everybody won't receive him. Though they know that, we, that God exists, they choose not to to want to serve God and people have their own preferences God is not a bully he ain't gonna force you you know he's not gonna force himself up on you but you know it's so crazy that when something happens the first thing we do is say hey I need prayer hey how about you need Jesus amen how about you need Jesus how about you need to make him your Lord and Savior but not just make him your Lord and Savior and say oh I'm saved but you got to believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead that God raised him up on the third day you have to believe then you have to read the Word of God and not just read the word of God but what does it say and apply it to your life I'm learning to apply the word to my life now it took me to go through a lot of stuff but apply the word of God to your life and it will change your life all right well I love you squad y'all have a blessed day on the day I'm here at mom's house so we're gonna go ahead and take care of this business so we can get on back home so I'll talk to you guys later God bless you and again stay safe all right bye guys here's a kiss to you catch